Uh, so good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morris Federation series of online workshops and talks. And today we have Hazel Old and Claire Watters and Will Pound of Kinnewood and Morris. And uh, they're going to teach you their new or newish lockdown dance, which is for four socially distanced people, which was developed last year. And um, Hazel wrote the dance. And so she's going to be teaching it. And first off, we're going to have uh, Claire starting us off with warm ups and we're having Will Pound as musician. So over to you, Claire. Okie dokies. Um, so before we get into the dance itself, we know um, we should always warm up. I know <laughs> it's quite hard to be bothered sometimes, but we've got so much to learn today. So let's do a kind of whole body one. Um, so we're going to start from our bottom half. So if you can get your feet going up and down and round, get your ankles sorted in the other foot. And a bit the same with the knees. It's important for us in Northwest to be having our night. Kinnewood will know I'm regularly after the 90 degree. Do I even mean 90? Yes, I do. 90 degree knees. So do for a bit of them and a bit of a round. Um, and round with your hips. Keep it nice and mobile because you're only at the start. I don't want to make it too much like stretching. It's just about getting every bit moving. If you need longer than me, feel free to just take what you need and do what you want. I'm going to go, yes, I am going to go for the lovely hips. <laughs> <laughs> so you can either do that in the most polite way possible, or you can just go full hula style -y. And we go for the top half of your shoulders. So we're going to be wanting your hands by your ears when you're holding the, um, when you're holding your sticks. So we're going to be thinking about, I won't keep them jingling for you though. So. Think about your arms by your knees, uh, by your knees, by your ears, and stretching them out to either side so that you're stretching each side of your body and stretching them up and stretching them down to each side. But it's quite nice if you keep reminding yourself that they're going back up to your ears each time, then it can really help you. And let's do a full round anyway. Okay. And if we just get our shoulders up and down. I tend to do a full face when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> and your neck round. And I think generally a bit of a one and a bit of the Knees straight to that 90 again, and a dog on the side, and anything else that you feel you need to do to make yourself ready, like dancing with a dog or just a general boogie. Um, we'll be doing some stepping, I think, first of all, with Hazel. So have a great time, everybody, and um, hope you all take up the dance. Hazel, do you want to? Yeah. Okay, good morning everybody. It's absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing to have so many people. I never knew there were that many Morris dancers or people interested in Morris dancing. Um, basically, basically um, I hate not dancing, probably like most of you, desperate, desperate to dance. Um, and uh, when I was moaning one night, I was challenged. Emily said, Hazel, well, if you want to do a dance, you'll have to write a socially distanced dance. Um, so that's how lockdown came about, really. And we, I wrote it about May time, and we'd been playing around with it and doing dances that we could do online. And we were lucky enough to dance out uh, on Boxing Day, so it came in very handy. And I think if it's a dance that gets people out dancing, then it's fantastic. I really want to share it with everybody to get everybody out dancing, doing what they love doing. Um, the dance is quite an easy dance. Um, it does involve polkas and steps and stamps. I'll demonstrate those. If you're a beginner, 
I think most of you are pre-experienced dancers though. If you're a beginner, you're best to go to the video and learn the polka separately. But today we'll just be learning the figures and learning the dance. The notation and the video are both on the Morris Fed work, uh, website. Okay, so lockdown. Um, we've got three different steps. Um, the one that we're all familiar with, or not so familiar with, the polka step. Is Can't quite hear you. Sorry? Can't quite hear you. Okay. And so we've lost your head. To demonstrate the polka, and that happens throughout the dance. And then I'm going to do some stepping and some stamping. I don't know, Will, would you like to do some music and I'll do yep. some polka? Yep. I'll do a short intro for you, Hazel. Okay. that those are the steps and um, the hands will have either hands up here hands by your sides or what we call candles yeah sort of halfway up your body okay so what we're going to do first is I'm going to demonstrate the step up I will demonstrate then you can dance with me and then we'll dance to the music and then I'll watch. Okay, so first of all, you're bringing your hands up to your body like that, so pulling them in. Hazel, so could, you, could you walk slightly? Uh, okay, is that better? Is it possible to push the computer slightly back? Because with the new kind of everyone behind, can't see your head. Yeah, mm. uh, gosh, no, uh, let's just, I mean, no, I think I just need to tip up a little. Bit. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's uh, it's the dilemma between the feet and the head. And um, so, um, basically, you're pulling your hands, you're going to stand like this for the introduction. We'll do this bit, bit and then we pull in, and then we push out. So, I'll say that's forward, back to the side. Back, up, and down. So let's just have a go with that. Pulling your hands in, forwards, in to the sides, in, up, and down. And with that, we start on the left leg and we polka. So watching, in, forwards, in to the sides, in, up, down, and finish. You finish with a kind of whoosh down. Okay, would everybody like to join in? Um, let's do it once through and then we'll ask Will to play it a few times. And we'll just do once through before we start the music, Will, okay? Okay. okay. Ready, and in, forward, in, Five, in, down, and finish. Okay. All right, let's do it to the music, shall we, Will? Yeah, no problem. Remember it's a left foot start, we're pulsing with our feet. Okay, fabulous. Great, I'll do a short intro, everyone, okay? Perfect. So you're not all waiting around for ages. <laughs> this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, how did that feel? Thumbs up? <laughs> okay. Um, what I'd like to do now is tell you a little bit about the formation and um, just show you where you stand in the dance. So on here you'll see we've got a little bit of a diamond shape happening. Can you see that, Will? Yep. Okay, so we've numbered them as though it's a clock face. And one of the things we found that with lockdown or socially distanced dancing, it helps if you have fewer numbers. And so we planned a set for four. 12 o'clock is at the front, six is at the back, three is to the right side, and nine is to the left. Now, if you're learning it as a team, you might want to pick different places. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it probably from number three to start with because it's easiest to demonstrate it from there. You can see the figures more clearly. Okay. Um, but actually, when you dance the dance, you can do it for one. You can do it for two, just having them at the sides. You can have it for three, just like the arrowhead. Four. If you do it for five, you can have somebody calling. If you have six, you can do it for the two arrowheads and so on and so on. So it's very adaptable in these times when we don't know how many people can be dancing. So really, really flexible. Yeah, everybody can join in. You don't need to leave anybody out. All right, I'm going to share the video because we're going to have a look at the first two figures. The first figure is called compass. Again, it's you on your own doing something. You're going forwards to the north, then you're going to the east, then you're going to the south and to the west. And if you watch the way that we do it, we go round clockwise, okay? I'm going to give you a little glimpse of the second figure and that's called diamond rounds. Okay, have a look. Okay, here we are. We were lucky enough to dance out at, in, on Boxing Day at Kenilworth Castle. It looks like the musicians have fallen out because they're all so distanced from one another. And then here we are, there's a few um, Christmas hats and uh, a few body warmers on under the clothing. So, all in the diamond shape. Okay, that gives you an idea of the first two figures. So we'll do the step up um, and then I'll, oh no, I'm going to demonstrate compass for you first. You've had a good look at it. So basically, you're imagining you're in one of those places, either at the front as number 12, way at the back as number six. You might be on the right, number three, or over at this side, number nine, just like on the clock phase. I'm going to be at number three, okay? So I've done my step up. And now I'm going to do compass. Hands by my side, and it's just that skippy step. One, two, three, four, one very big pull of back. One to turn. I'm turning to my right. And basically, I repeat that four times. 
Fax and turn. Step. Fax and turn. Fax and turn. And then straight into the step up again. Okay. Let's have a little go at that one. Um, Will, would you like to play the music and we'll have a go? Yeah, should we do the step up first? Let's that would be lovely. Up. We'll do the step up and then we'll go straight into compass. Remember, you're going forward first, then the turn is to your right each time. And it's basically four steps forwards, two, one polka back and one to turn. Okay, let's have a go. Okay, short intro again. This time. Some asking for a bit of help, I think. Okay. Not specific, just some hands on heads. <laughs> oh, hands on heads. Okay. I'll just <laughs> let's walk through compass again. Was it with the step up or with compass, or do you not know? <laughs> it looked like compass, but does anyone okay. who had their hands on their heads want to say? It Good would help me if you uh, just on the chorus if you could just say where my arms are going because I haven't Perfect. got that. Yet. Yeah, okay, I'll stay much closer so you can hear the speaker, okay? So also, actually, if you just said up, out, down, all that business, that would really help. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, um, when you're doing the, the compass, um, you say four steps forward, but you're actually doing three steps forward and one step back. So, so which is it? Four tiny steps, so let's just watch this again. You're doing one, two, three, Four. Right, when you're actually and dancing it, when you're actually dancing it, it's, you're going three forward and one back. Sorry? Um, she's going four forward and then she's polkering back. Okay, okay. <laughs> it just doesn't so look again. like that. Okay. So again, so I agree with Celia actually. Right, left. One, two, three, four, and then polka. Polka. One, two, three, four, one, and turn. Ah! You see, you do that. The that <laughs> when I finish the fourth one, I do go back a little bit, it feels like, because I'm ready to do that bound backwards. I think I could. Sorry, Cecilia. Yeah. Okay, is everybody ready to have a go? We're going to do the um, step up, and then we'll do compass, and the step up and then compass, and then step up. And it gives everybody a chance to see the step up and the compass a few times through. Okay, all right, Will, thank you. Hazel, hey. Hazel, Hazel, it might be worth you muting in case it picks up the sound of your feet and interrupts the, what Will's playing. Yeah. Just when, and then we've got to remember to unmute, which is a faff, so. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, that's great. Okay. Okay. I'll do another short intro. Thank you. 
Okay, any questions? Any questions from anybody? Can I mute yourself? A bit slower. Am I unmuted? Can yeah. you do me? <laughs> I seem to be ending up on the wrong foot and I'm not sure where because when I was doing the rants I was doing right foot rant first and then left foot and I know that's wrong so could we perhaps do it once more yeah why don't we just walk it through yeah yeah that might it's help. tricky to walk it because um because of the pace of it and that great big leap backwards and I think that's the trickiest part of this figure. So, would you, would you be able to yeah, do it the other way around? Uh, uh, yeah, turn around. Backwards, yeah. Thank you. That's a good idea. Thanks for that suggestion. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back and turn. One, two, three, four. Back and turn. One. Oh, sorry, I've got too many in there. Okay, was that better? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, let's dance that one again because I think you know it sounds like people want the practice with that one. Will, can we just do step up? Yeah. Compass. And Could you do that so that we're uh, we're behind you for with this time? Oh gosh, great. of course. That's why. I was thinking okay. I was facing the front, I only did it twice. Okay, should I do the whole of that compass then yeah. from the back? Yeah, including the chorus. Yeah. Then straight into it. So left leg. One, two, three, four. Back. And turn. One, two, three, four. Back. And turn. One, two, three, four. Back. And turn. One, two, three, four. Back. Okay. okay, so basically it's north, south, east and west. So on that last one, you definitely went backwards on the fourth step hop. Because yeah, it's not, I think I do. It's a step hop and then you're going backwards on that fourth step hop. And I think I do because it's a big polka. So try and work it out yourself. I think, you know, it's, it's basically four skippy steps, whichever way you're going. And then you've got that two fantastic polkas, one to take you right back and one to turn you around. <laughs> okay, do you want to have a dance of that again? Yeah, if we could do the chorus and the figure Perfect. with Perfect. you facing the window, that would be lovely. Facing little. the window, let's do the chorus. You won't see my hands so much there. No. But for the person who wanted the calls. <coughs> no, don't call because... Um, It'll interrupt the music. I've lost Hazel now. Has everyone else got Hazel? Yeah, I've, I've lost, lost Hazel as well. Yeah, I've lost Hazel as well. So I can just, while we're waiting for Hazel to come back, I can just do what the arms are while we're waiting. So the main thing is, so you can, <coughs> it, I tend to end up doing this one and that one not so well. So basically, when you've got them in, they're like candles in front of you. Um, and you're going... I can't candles. see anything. I, can't, I can only see Hazel frozen. Can anyone... I've spotlighted. Can you unpin her? I can see. I can only see Hazel. I can I, see Claire. Can you unpin her? <laughs> Thanks, Right. Well, I can, you can still do it for yourselves while you, if you go to the gallery view and then come back out or even press me, then you'll find me instead while we're waiting for Hazel to come back. I'll go ahead and if you can't see me, you can listen to what I'm saying and you'll still be able to do it. Who's speaking? Okay, so your hands are in front, like candles. Who's speaking so we don't know who to pin? Who's, your, who is call, who's speaking? It's Claire Waters. Claire should be at the should top. Be pinned. If you can't see me, ignore that. Remind yourself what you were up to, okay? And do what I'm saying instead, okay? So you're holding your hands out in front of you like candles, just by your, for those endowed with right in front of your boobs, if you would. Um, then you're going out in front of you. So it's one, 
Five your babies out, back again, out to the side, back again, and out at the top. Then one kind of about diagonal in the middle, but it isn't that precise. And then down by your sides on the last one. So if we do it with a polka, then it's first polka in, first po second polka front, third in, third to the side, fourth to the side. <laughs> I'll stop numbering them, so I'll start again. So in, front, in, side, in, up, part, down, and by your sides, okay? Should we do that one more time while we're still waiting? So it's in, front, in, side, in, up, up, down, and down. Okay, any questions on that one, anybody? If not, let's go for a compass while we wait for Hazel to come back. Okay, Will, are you able to yeah. do a short do intro and then... Should we do a step up first? And yeah, then... we'll do step up, compass, step up, compass, step up. Okay. Yeah, can, you do, can you do it facing away? I think if anyone, there's still people who can't see me. Yeah. If you go out of your um, speaker view, so at your top right, it should have you the option to go to gallery. And if you go to gallery, then you can find Claire Waters. And then from that, you can press on this. If you press on my picture, then you can make, you can pin me yourself or you can choose. They should just oh, I can't. Ask you. I know some people can't see me, they're, they're saying it by text, yeah. so. We, mm. we can't pin you either because when we click on your three dots, it just says. No, you need to unpin Hazel first. That's, it's a problem. Uh, okay. If you've pinned someone already, you usually have to go and remove the pin before you can add another one. Okay, so we need to pin Hazel. Mm. If you can't see Claire, Claire, if you swipe right, you might be able to see her. She should be on the front page. Mm. True, I'll be on your gallery wherever. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I'm on an <laughs> iPad and it just doesn't work. If you're on an iPad, that doesn't work, I'm afraid. Double I'm on an iPad and suddenly Claire's appeared. Ah, yeah, yeah, an iPad I'm an iPad and as long as you've you. not pinned I'm an, I'm an iPad and it's oh. absolutely perfect. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. 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 If you really yeah. can't yeah. see me and you want to take a moment. I'm here. To I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's back. Oh, great. Sorry. We, because you put it right on the edge of the table, the lead had fallen out. So, um, okay. sorry about that. Anyway, no I hope worries. everybody had a nice coffee break. <laughs> no, we did no, the perfect. arms for the step up. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Everybody knows we're and going I think we were ready to go into a step up, uh, compass, step up compass. The other side. And we, we've, up and yeah, down. we're ready for a step up compass, step up compass, perfect. Hazel. Perfect. And um, speak of you. Okay, let's go. Thank you. I'm sorry, can't, oh. Could anyone who can't see just message me in the chat so that we can continue yeah. if that's all right? And if not, then maybe the easiest thing is to come out and back in again, to be honest. Yeah, that's um, true. It might be quicker than trying to back okay. about. Okay. Hazel, can you do it facing the window? That would be okay, great. Yeah. We've had requests. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay, short intro. <laughs> in the step up um so when we put our hands up the sticks parallel to the floor or pointing up 
they should be parallel should they not like they stay as if you're holding them yeah straight i up. can't see them there Hazel. <laughs> they're out of picture straight up i can't so can you see my elbows see. go right back and then we can see now they're going to disappear still can't see you <laughs> let me go down here still can't see you oh you can't see me no you need oh. to um... see your hands are they horizontal the sticks hazel or vertical oh sorry the sticks there we are vertical vertical Super. it's definitely so, apologies in. everyone if i wasn't doing that forward in out in up and down so they're back. always vertical they're always vertical throughout that entire chorus yep yeah. Perfect. All right, shall we go into the next one? What I'll do now is I will demonstrate the diamond rounds. And in this one, you really have to have a think about where you're starting. You're stepping into the next person's place um, anti-clockwise around. So if you're at number 12, you're going to number nine. If you're at number nine, you're going to number six. If you're at number six, you're going to number three. If you're at number three, you're going to number 12. And you're going to work your way around the set so that you've been in everybody's place until you get back, okay? So basically you're going around anti-clockwise and you're doing a particular step. And the first step will take you, hopefully, into the next person's place. So I'll just pretend that I'm number 12, okay? So I'm starting right at the front of the set. So I'm right at the front. I have to turn over my left shoulder to go clockwise, anti-clockwise. And I'm going to do step, step, kick, kick, pop up and turn. And then I repeat all the, uh, all the way around. Okay. And step, step, kick, kick, pop up and turn. Step, step, kick, kick, pop up and turn. Step. Step, kick, kick, pop up, and turn. Okay. So if we just try that step, step, kick, kick on the spot, if everybody would like to just have a go. We're doing step, step, kick, kick. Ready? Um, it's good, good to use your hands to give yourself a push. When you're polking, the first polka is the way you're going. And the second polka turns you to face where you're heading next, okay? So, when we polka, it's right hand to left leg, right hand to left leg. And then on the second one, you turn to face where you're going. Okay, you can either do it on the spot or if you feel confident, you can move around in an anti-clockwise direction following the points of the diamond. Okay, I'm gonna do it from 12 o'clock. Five, hold on my left here. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, step, six, six, pull up and turn. 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 Okay, any questions? Right, so it's opposite hands and foot on the Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's the same throughout. Which foot do you start, start on? On your left. And then when you, when you do your kick, the second one, is that with your right foot? Let me try it. <laughs> so I'm going to start my left. Step, step, kick. Kick. Like that. So um, it's your right is it, first is it, kick. Very, is it very similar to the run corn? I don't know that one, but it's in okay. lots of it goes like the old um, Piper's Ash and things. Yeah, so that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I recognize it now. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love that one. So um, step, step, kick, kick, pop up, and turn. Step, step, kick, kick, pop up. But I don't think uh, it, it's not really a high kicking dance. If you want to do it high kicking, it'd be fabulous, but it doesn't really matter. 
I mean, we are very strict about high knees, but you know, <laughs> high legs, we, we do what we can. <laughs> Everybody is individual. Um, okay, so why don't we do a bit of music and a bit of diamond rounds? Yeah. Um, perhaps if we do it twice through, Will? Yeah, so we'll do the same. Can... So, so step up, figure, step up, figure. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Short intro again. two figures but I'll also show diamond rounds too. Let me back. <laughs> Perfect. No sound, Hazel. Thank you. Okay, the next figure is called Square Corners. So we started with the cross. We had the diamond and now we've got the square. Basically, the dancers are going to move in to the nearest corner and they're going to get there with two steps. When they get to the corner, they're going to turn and then they're going to keep stepping and turning all the way round. If it's going to play for me. So that was square corners and you saw a little bit of um, the diamond rounds. So basically there's a funny little sequence, you probably spotted it. The distances between the moves are slightly different. So the first one we do two to get into that first corner. I'll just demo. So if I'm at the front. Um, again we're going anti-clockwise and our hands are here. So this is when we're doing the candles. We're going to go two into that corner. One and two. When we get to the corner, we turn four round. One, two, three, and four. Then we do four steps for the next three corners. One, two, three, four. Then turn again and watch its left leg right hand one two three four moving again four steps 
One, two, three, four. Turning. One, two, three, four. Four steps. One, two, three, four. Turning. One, two, three, four. Back. Two steps. The worth um, two in and two out. So just be careful of that. Just um, worth maybe pointing out the direction that we're turning in and also that you're kind of going two, to, two towards the middle of it and two into the next place or watching across. But mostly people are asking about the turning. Oh, okay, we were just going to do that. So the turning is basically uh, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, following your right shoulder or going clockwise. So although you're moving anti-clockwise for the figure, stepping on the spot is clockwise. Okay, so if you'd like to walk it through with me, we'll do it together. Okay, have a think about where your first corner is. And it's going to be round the set towards your, uh, towards the anti-clockwise direction. Yeah, so you're going to go two steps into that. If you're at the front, you're going to go two to the left. If you're number three, you're going to to the front. If you're number six, you're heading to that corner. One, two. And if you're number nine, you're going to have to go backwards, okay? So all the way. The important thing about this figure is that you're facing the front all the way. So those are the two things you have to remember, really. Is your two steps in, but your four steps all the way around, two steps out, and you're always facing me. You're always facing the front. Okay, let's have a go. Um, should we do it to music? Or should, no, let's just step it to start with. Let's yeah. step it to start with. So you're facing the front. You're going to go two into the corner. Turn four, one, two, three, and four. You're going to move back for four, hopping, one, two, three, four, and turn. And move. And turn. And move. And turn. Two back, play. And into the second. Okay. All right. So remember, you're facing the front. Two in, and then three to move to each of the other corners, and then two out. Okay. Let's have some music, and we'll maybe do it twice. It's quite a yeah, long yeah, figure. Yeah. yeah. So step up, figure. Step up, figure. Great. Perfect. Okay. Short intro. <laughs>
okay I think the tricky bit is the music goes across you go across the music and so counting is really 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 helpful with that one any questions with that okay why don't we do the three figures up to there so we've done compass we've done diamond rounds and we've done square corners okay only one more figure to go <laughs> so you're doing well um does anybody want to take a drink before we do that i'm very lucky because i've got some here <laughs> okay so compass is the one on the cross diamond rounds you're dancing in that diamond shape going to the next person rounds place going around anti-clockwise square corners basically you've got two steps to make that lovely square and then you're moving around the square always facing the front okay all right the next figure we're going to learn after oh actually we'll dance it first before i confuse you <laughs> Okay, let's take it from the top. Um, I'll try and shout the figures, see if you can hear. I don't know, Claire, maybe you could put them in the chat. Compass. Yeah. Diamond rounds. Square corners. Be really helpful useful. if you did it facing the window. Please. Yeah, I'll try. I'm not used to doing it like that. It somehow throws me a little bit. Um, we can always do it both ways. Um, it's probably best not to call because it interrupts the music. That's fine, I think that's great. I yeah. think the chat's enough, yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to mute myself on that basis, Pauline. <laughs> okay, so give me time to get up, Will. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Okay. Short intro again. This time. because that is your speed and your style yeah so i hesitated to ask but <laughs> <laughs> oh hazel you're muted sorry you're muted hazel would you like me to do it once more slowly facing the front maybe yes do you think we can do that will yeah that's fine yeah that's helpful and then we'll go straight into the last figure <laughs> look on there Thank you, Hazel. Okay. Okay, short intro again.
question for Will about what music is it and um, can you say how the how many A's and B's? Yeah, sure. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? Um, OK, so uh, the tune is Brighton Camp. Um, and, and Brighton Camp at the moment. And um, and I used that tune all the way through, but I changed the key in a minute when in the next figure. So it's in D at the moment. Um, uh, and basically, so the, basically it's an A for the step up. And that, that's the same throughout, um, effectively. So that, that doesn't kind of change. But the numbers of Bs do change because of, uh, you know, the length of the figures. So um, the first time it's two Bs, I think. And then the second figure is also two Bs. And then the, the, the figure that you've just done, that the last one, uh, that's four Bs. Or not to be. <laughs> um, so <laughs> um, so um, anyway, so that that's what we got at the moment. And I think for the rest of the dance... I can't quite remember from being honest because I do it on instinct, but um, watching it. But uh, for the next figure, it's also going to be two Bs as well. Um, so, well, we'll find out. <laughs> you know, um, I'm just counting up if it helps. Pardon, sorry? I can't hear anyone. <laughs> Me, I'm just counting up the A's and B's if it helps. I've got to find you. I've got to find you, Linda. Hold on a second. Sorry. I just thought it might help. I'll mute myself. No, no, don't. Is it, is it what he said? It is. <laughs> well, yeah. Could we two, have that? Two, two, well done. Two, two, four, two. I'll pop it on the chat. Yeah, could we? Maybe we could add that onto the notation. I can't find it. It's probably in the, If it's not in the notation, we could um, add that, couldn't we? Yeah. Good idea. Good yeah. Idea. Thank you. Thank you. That's okay, a let's question. have a little look. Sorry? Sorry, that, oh yeah, let's have another look at the video and we'll have a look at the last figure. It's a figure that may be familiar to you all, especially if you've done celebrations. And of course, that's been a fantastic dance to use at this time when we're socially distancing. Um, so let's have a little look. Do, 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 do. I think the uh, celebration is on this uh, on this chat, I believe. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah, so we're going straight into the <laughs> top up. Okay. Okay. Okay, you probably noticed something slightly different. When we finish Royton, we end up facing in the middle. The only time we get to see each other, we go, wow, this is fantastic. We're all smiling because we're dancing again together. And, um, and that's where we start the final figure. But for those of you who don't know Royton, it's an absolutely lovely, it looks very flashy, lovely figure, but it's not that hard, yeah? People look on our that looks impressive and it does look really impressive when you're doing it with four people or more dancers so don't worry if it doesn't look fab when you do it on your own it really you know needs that group so <clears throat> okay so the first thing is um <clears throat> you've done your step up da, 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 Then you're going to stick your hands straight out <clears throat> and you keep them there for virtually the whole dance. So that can be quite tiring. You might want to adapt that, but it does look good. And you kick out your left. Left. So nice again. Da, 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 da. Did you move yeah. back a tiny bit, Hazel? Yes. Yeah. You're just in the chair at the moment. So why didn't you go? Chair. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. Bit. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you're going out to the side, so with a little jump you go out, you go back, you go to the side, you go to the front, and in. So it goes. And one, two, three, four, down. And then you go the same with the right, out the top, behind the side, front to the side. Okay, I'd like to get up and have a little go at that. 
Remember you to keep your hands up. It gives you the whole idea of the figure. Five, six, seven, eight. Out, back, out, front, side. Out, back, out, front, side. And a little bit quicker. And then you step on your right leg. You kick your left leg and you turn 180 degrees. So you're facing the bottom of the set. So you're going on your right. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. And really you're just doing four small steps, yeah? In order to be facing down at the end of it. So you just space out your steps as you can. And then you're going to repeat it. So I'm facing down now and that might be helpful. <clears throat> so this time I'm going to start with my right. Out, back, out, front, side. Out, back, out, front, side. Okay, so you want to try that. Starting on your left and uh, starting on your right, facing down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll try the arms later. You step on your left to come back. Left, left. Left, left, and if you see, I did a little bit of a bigger turn because I, I was imagining I was number three there and I was facing in, finishing facing in, okay? But if you're doing it from number 12, you're going to do um, a complete turn because you're going from facing down. But don't worry about that bit, let's just do the figure and then we'll practice facing down in a minute. So if we'd like some music, we'll do it twice through with Will. Thank you. Yes, yeah, step up. Going to mute. Okay. This time. one that particularly would be useful slow yeah no problem um, quite as speedy yeah and probably because facing it's... away as well if you've done celebration you'll know this one but if you've not done celebration you won't <laughs> so i'm going to just show you that one and the final figure so you can put it all together that final bit could we just have that a bit slower first please and and could you tell us, could you tell us which way we're supposed to be facing at the end of each uh, part of the figure? Yeah, if you have a look on the video, it'll really help you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it through, okay, from just the end of the step up. Whichever position you're in, have a good look to see which way you finish after you've done Royton, okay? So imagine those four people are going to do Roy turn. Ordinarily, we'd finish facing up, but we're not going to do that. We're going to finish facing in so we can all smile to one another. And I think if you think of that, you'll know exactly where you're turning in. Okay, let's go. Roy turn. Step up. 
final finger. Back to four. Turn. Back to four. Shorter and finish. Okay, I think that was helpful because it really lets you see how the dance finishes, yeah? And I wouldn't worry too much about where you finish at the moment because when you get together, it becomes very, very clear. But just remember that some people will just do a quick turn in. Some people will have to go a little bit further. Okay, I think those are the important points for that. Um, <clears throat> would you like to do Royton again? Was it you wanted to do Royton from the back? Yeah? Yeah, a bit slower. Right? A bit slower. We'll try and get it slower, Will. He takes yeah. off his dad. He used to time how quickly he did dances. So don't we need to you know, get rid of the daddy influence. It's just mm -hmm. real slow. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll do a step up as well, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Hazel. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I didn't recognise the dancing. Okay. Um, Hazel, you need to mute. Intro and I'll go, I'll go yeah. in Hazel. and I'll mute. <laughs> it's a bit slower, Will. Yeah. Yeah, and um, really clear chords. Yeah. the final figure let's do it so you finish facing in i'm imagining that my the rest of my team are here <clears throat> and i'm at number three <clears throat> this is for you to see it so i've done my ja -ja -ja, step hop step hop step hop step hop don't forget to do I'm going to unmute to teach this, but oh, I am unmuted. Okay, so you're going to have your hands down, four little steps back, starting on your left. One, two, three, four. Two hands up to turn it out, to your right, and down. Hands down. One, two, three, four. Hands up. Polka, polka, and kick. So the second polka on the last bit is like a very quick polka. Okay, let's walk it through. Okay, you've done your step up facing in. Basically, you're going backwards for four. So you've got your back to the audience and you're still facing your lovely dancers. So hands down, left leg. For one, two, three, four, polka, polka. One, two, three, four, polka, polka, kick. Okay? I'm not sure there are lots of other ways you could finish it, so please feel free to, you know, change that final figure or think of different ways of the dance-off. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do Moyton and then the final figure. And then if there's anything else we need to go over with those, we'll do that. And then we'll do the whole thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can still falling doing whoop whoop, even though I can hear it. <laughs> okay, so we'll do um, step up, Royton, step up, and final figure. Okay. Let's see if I get the music right. It's always funny. <laughs> okay. I'll take it a bit steadier as well. Hazel, could you uh, mute Please. yourself? Thanks. Okay.
Any okay. questions about that? Just quickly for musicians, so for that last, um, so the step up is normal uh, music wise, the A, but then it's basically just what, I think it's just one B for the last bit. Um, so I think my mum's got that written down. Hello, mummy. <laughs> um, if, if you're in position six, uh, do you not turn on those uh, ramps at the end? Because you're already facing in. Um, so you finished your Reuton facing yeah. in. Yeah. So I'm going to do it from number six just to show you. Okay. So I'm at number six. And um, I've finished doing step, step, step. No, I'll start, I'll start from step up so you can see it. Okay. Step up. Step So yeah, you just do that 180 turn, so that you're, it's just the normal Reuton where you just do a half turn. Sorry, the final, the final figure. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, so you're at number six, you go back for four, one, two, three, four, turn, turn, back into the set. Surely you'll be facing out then, won't you? Everybody's facing out. So we're all facing oh, in. Right. Then we do the figure and then we all look out to the audience and beg them for a clap. Uh, thank <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> We've smiled at each other and now we can look for a bit of applause because we've finished. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Any other figures you'd like to go back on? Okay, shall we go for it? Fantastic. So what we're doing, so we're doing just that figure again, yeah? Oh, do we want to do that figure again? Pauline, what do you think? Time-wise, I don't mind. We've got 15 minutes. Claire, have you had any questions in the chat? Or does anyone want to unmute and ask if there's any particular... Um, there was just over. someone asking whether we could do um, maybe a walk through everything first or walk through the first Perfect. two two figures so that we can perfect. remind us. Perfect, yeah, yeah. yeah good. good point. Okay, <clears throat> and again, um, Claire, if you could put the figures in the chat so that I don't need to call them or if I, yeah, I'll be on mute. So, and I think that's really critical that you try and remember the figures. So the first one, I'll try and do a sign. I, well, I can't really do a sign, but you know, the compass is the one on the cross. <clears throat> Then you're going into that diamond round, moving to the person on your right, or uh, um, anti-clockwise. So <coughs> let's walk it then. So with the um, compass, you're going forwards, and then polka back, polka turn, forwards, <coughs> polka back, polka turn, forward, polka back, Polka turn, forward, polka back, polka turn, okay? Second one is the diamond formation. You're going around anti-clockwise. You're going step, step, kick, kick, polka, and turn. Step, step, kick, kick, polka, and turn. Step, step, kick, kick, polka, turn, step, Step, kick, kick, polka, and turn. And you've basically gone round the points of the diamond. Okay, number three was a square figure. Yeah. So what you're doing there is you're going two into your square corner, with your corner, square corner. And you're going to turn by your right all the way around. You're going to take four steps. There's your next corner, turning. On your right. Four steps to your next corner. Turning. By your right. Four steps to your next corner. Turning. By your right. And then it's just two steps 
back to place. Okay, the next figure, the last figure is the Reuton one. Let's tip this down. And that one is the one where you go left, behind, side, front, side, left, behind, side, front, side. Then step on your right, kick, 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 out, back, out, front, side, out, back, front, front, side. You're going to finish facing in. One, two, three, four. Turn your polka, you step up. And then final figure, four steps back, two turns, four steps back, face your audience, polka, polka, kick. Okay, have a drink of water and we'll do the whole thing. Let's see if I can remember. <laughs> okay. I'll take it steady for the whole of the thing, okay? So Yeah. So you don't all fall over. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, and this is the one that the video has been waiting for. So thank you everybody for joining in and uh Let's see how it goes. We can always go through it twice if we need. <laughs> Great. So just for musicians, I'm doing the first three times, so the first three figures in D uh, and uh, and then the last sort of two figures in G, but you can play in whatever key you like. <laughs> okay. Okay. It look good. <laughs> oh, hands on head. What is it? 
<laughs> I would love the chance to watch it now if people wanted to have a little rest and then dance it for me. <laughs> would that be okay? Anybody say no? <laughs> I think it's fair, <laughs> Sir Hazel. But it's you snowing in the West Country. It'll be oh, really? Hazel? Yeah? When you're watching... Could you call the figures for Perfect. us? Perfect, yeah. Um, the it might interrupt a little bit with the music. It's a bit jerky, but... The I'll problem go. is the music, it will stop the music and then the music will speed up. Could what I can do is hand signals. Oh, so I'll do that for compass. Yeah. I'll do that for the diamond rounds. I'll do that for your square corners. Yeah. And my turn, I'll do that because your legs are going like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's I'm good. Bigger, I'll just do... Um, that going backwards just to yeah. remind you that we also make us watch the front of the set what we're doing rather than getting lost in our own thoughts won't it yeah that's great fantastic mm. and then have I okay, i'm going there. to mute now and i'm going to be flicking around and i'm really looking forward to seeing you all doing it fabulous do we want anyone spotlit to watch or no i'm going to just no, I know you're going to, but I'm wondering about them while they're dancing. Or are we all okay, everyone? Be nice we'll to have someone to watch. Will someone okay. Do you want to be spotlight? Um, Should we put I... Jan and Tash on? Yeah. I want to be able to see the gallery view so that I can... Yeah, you can. Body. You can press gallery okay. view, yeah. Hazel. It's just that they okay. need to watch someone. Well, they have to watch me for the figures, for the calls, I'm afraid. So I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. For the calls, they will have to watch me. It does work if you call when uh, um, somebody else I think else if you just play. call early, it's fine. That. No, hold on. I'll spotlight Hazel as well. We'll give it okay. a go. Ah, uh, double. Nice. Very clever. Clever stuff. We'll try it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Blimey. Okay, are we ready, gang? Okay. Okay, short intro, and I'll try and take it steady. This time.
amazing to watch 100 people doing the dance or over 100 people. It was 178. Absolutely amazing, absolutely mind blowing. So it's an enormous privilege and I really hope we get out dancing soon and you can use the dance to socially distance. And um, I'd like to say a big thank you to Pauline. She's been absolutely amazing. Jenny, because Jenny Rogers has been amazing too. And Claire for doing our warm up. And um, thank you so much to everybody else. It was fantastic to see all of Kinder Word there, so many of you. Absolutely you amazing. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> I've missed. And Will. Thank you. Oh, and Will. Thank you. Oh, come on. Yeah, Let's all give a big round of applause for Will. Without which, it never happened. <laughs> thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Can I just say something? Can I just say something, Mr. Pauline? Yeah, quickly. I'm really, Im I'm really impressed that so many people are doing so many different elements in that dance. Seems we haven't danced out much at all. <laughs> Everybody's fitness level, I was scanning around looking and everybody was really going for it. So I'm really impressed. Okay. That was so, well, just um, thank you very much to everybody who attended. And uh, it's been fantastic. Thank you. And thank you to thank you. Jenny Everett who helped me host today. And um, well, just I think can we unmute ourselves and give uh, Kitty Word a round of applause? Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing you all dancing, all empty teams that are represented today. <laughs> dancing <laughs> out next summer. Yay! <laughs> and let's get together, and when we get together, we can all do it. So it'd be really, really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. We can share. Yeah. Be back.